coming out of the UK. You have seen and heard the rhetoric coming out of the UK about Albanian migrants, talks of invasion, talks of Albanians being involved in criminality. How does that make you feel when you hear that type of language? Listen, I must say that in nowadays politics, uh, sometimes this kind of things can happen. What uh, makes me wonder more is that I never heard an apology, which uh, brings me to think that instead of uh, exaggerated uh, expression of frustration, this was a calculated attack. And uh, this is what is the most worrisome. Do you feel like Albania needs an apology from the UK? We don't need it in the sense that we can live without it. When you apologize, it's okay, you, it happens. When you don't, and when you avoid it, then it means that you want something from what you said. So it means that there is a calculation behind it. It means that uh, you, you really are talking to, 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 to a certain uh, number of voters that want to hear this, and you are feeding them with this, because you need their votes. But the consequences of that can be devastating for the people, for our people in Britain and for Britain itself. You've made clear your view about how the UK is handling this, but let's talk about you. How much blame do you hold for this? You've been prime minister for nine years, yet we're hearing people every single time we talk to them saying they have no future, they have no hope, that the country is corrupt and there is nothing for them here, so they have to leave. You're in charge. How much is this your responsibility? It's true, it's true that you can hear people saying so. And uh, it's also true that now uh, it's a period of time when there is a lot of bad influence in general in the world because of the war, because of the crisis, because uh, after pandemic, immediately it's another situation because, because, because we know what we should do. We should do everything to improve the situation here and to make it better and better for everyone. But we know also that whatever we do, Albania will not be London, will not be Paris, will not be Berlin.